the story of discovery, right? When I finished my residency at Stanford and uh, decided to go and work in Bayview Hunters Point, which is one of the most uh, low income and underserved neighborhoods in San Francisco, I had no idea what I was embarking on, right? I thought I was gonna hang a shingle and use all the medical training that I had learned uh, to provide the best quality care I could to a community that was in incredible need. But as I, uh, you know, went into my practice, I started noticing a disturbing trend. And I will have to say, because we are talking about uh, public health, that uh, it really was my public health training, right? Um, because I did my MPH before I started my residency that helped me be able to pull back from you know, writing those prescriptions from, for antibiotics and everything else to be able to see that pattern. And, and the pattern that I was observing was um, that I had a lot of kids being referred to me for ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And uh, when I did my job, right, I did what I as a physician was supposed to do, and I did a thorough history and physical. What I found was that over and over again, I was hearing a little bit of the same story, which is that uh, oftentimes the kids that I was seeing with the most severe symptoms were also, also had really significant histories of adversity, right? Who were living in households where really difficult things were happening, whether it's abuse or neglect or having uh, a parent who uh, was, was mentally ill and unable to get access to high quality mental health care or you know, substance dependent or something along those lines. And, um, and then I also saw there was something else that was really um, striking. I remember one patient that really stood out for me was a young woman who was coming to see me for really severe asthma. And I had been you know, treating her with everything. I had her on all kinds of medications. And I sat down again with mom and said, okay, let's talk about your asthma triggers, all right? Is there, you know, pet dander? Is the cockroaches, you know, uh, clean, harsh cleaning products? Like, can you think of anything that we haven't eliminated that might be triggering your daughter's asthma? And she said to me, you know, doctora, I noticed that my daughter's asthma tends to kick in every time her dad punches a hole in the wall. Do you think it could be related? And for me, 